Hello everyone and welcome to another coding vlog. Today I'll be talking about how I got the approval from Google to use their YouTube API in my production application. So to the application that I'm building, I need to have the access uh, to users uh, YouTube data because I'm going to check whether a user is a subscriber in my YouTube channel and then I'm going to give access for specific uh, articles and pages in my application. So to, to do that, I need to get the access. Uh, I need to use the Google YouTube API. If you're using these APIs in developer mode, like in your local host or anything, you can use it freely or without any specific uh, approval from Google. But if you are using these APIs in the production mode or else if you are going to go live as production application, you need to specifically request the approval from Google to use their APIs. For me, it took around one and a half months to get the approval from Google because I missed a lot of things in the initial steps and that's what that's why I'm doing this video. So if you follow these steps, you should be able to get the approval from Google within maximum two weeks. So these are the things that you should remember uh, when you are applying the approval from Google to access, to use these APIs in production mode. First of all, your application should have a proper homepage that specifically tells what you are going to do, uh, what you are going to deliver in this application. My suggestion is to create an awesome landing page for your website users explaining what you are going to deliver in the web application that you are creating. Next thing is the privacy policy. So there are more than enough online tools that you can create free privacy policies, but make sure you add the specific scopes and how you are going to use these scopes in the APIs uh, in your application. For example, in my application, I'm using a YouTube API and specific YouTube uh, data endpoints. And I added that in the privacy policy and then I explained what I'm going to do with those data that I'm getting from the uh, YouTube. Next thing is you need to add a YouTube video explaining the authentication flow of your web application. In that video, make sure you clearly show the OAuth client or, or else the authentication window properly, including the domain of your hosted web application. The URL in the video you are sharing and also the endpoint or, or else the domain endpoint that you add to your application from the Google console should be the same. And also in the video, make sure you explain each steps like selecting the uh, Google account, then the how the authentication going from next window to another window and explain all this authentication flow uh, in that video. And finally, I will walk you through the approved application of mine and you can see the things I uh, applied and the things I filled on the approval form. I'm on my Google Cloud Console here. You can see the verification status is verified for this project or the consent screen. So if I go to edit application, you can see the things which was asked by Google. So you have this app name, you have to support a valid support email and the app logo. This is the logo which is shown when a user is going through our uh, login uh, flow and the app domain. So this is very important, like you have to provide a valid app domain, uh, application homepage and a link to privacy policy. So this should be a publicly available URL and also application for terms of service link. When you create a video, in that video, you should clearly show these uh, domains of the uh, application that you have hosted. You also have to add the authorized domain you have, right? And the next thing is you have to add this authorized domain to uh, Google Search Console as well. So it's a very easy thing. Uh, if you need, I can create a small video on that one as well. And this is the developer contact information. So if we save and continue to the next level, uh, here you have the all your non-sensitive scopes and these are your sensitive scopes. Uh, pay some extra attention to validate why you need these extra scopes and how you are using it. And you have to 
uh, how uh, add something in here like how will the scopes be used specifically you have to add how I how you are going to use this uh, your sensitive scopes here and I don't have any restricted scopes at the moment and this is the place that where you have to add a demo video so I uploaded it to YouTube and provided a link here a private link approval so I didn't have anything to add here but in the additional resources I add the documentation link add the link for the code as well this is the summary of the application so these are the things that you need you have to as I mentioned you have to uh, pay some special attention when you are creating your YouTube video and the home page and your privacy policy page so hope you guys got something out of it and as usual make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel it means a lot to me and let's meet with another awesome tutorial have a nice day